This quick tip will live up to its name because I'm going to make this complex shape in a single feature. Don't believe me? Then check out this tip that the Godfather himself imparted upon us. First things first, we'll hide the finished version, but you'll see that I have a sliver body here that I'll use to quickly start the extrude. Yes, yes, technically two features, but I did that to maintain the appearance and make adding the extrude that much faster. Anyway, I'll pull it out a tad, rotate around, then change the extent option to to object. At which point it's waiting for me to define what that object is. I'll move my cursor in the graphics area and select the back face, then use the option to extend that. At that point, we'll okay it and hide the body we're trying to conform to. And this shouldn't be a huge surprise, but it's an intact cylinder at this point because it's ending at the back face, as we defined. Herein lies the trick. Let's undo hiding the body and edit the extrude. Now we'll delete the previous selection for the to object and instead go to select the body itself. You might try to do a long select to use select other to get the body, but that won't do it. Instead, if you move your cursor over an edge and select, you've now designated the entire body as the object to extrude to. We'll okay this, then hide the object once again to reveal this very complex body we just made in a single feature. Hope that helps.